over there. God damn everything. Freaking god. Let's have some beer! What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another daily drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of Blue Line Blonde Ale by the Halliburton Highlands Brewing. Not really company, just says Halliburton Highlands Brewing. So it's by Halliburton Highlands Brewing, without the company. Coming in at 5% ABV. This is out of Halliburton, Ontario. Place I was in recently for a beer festival, helping out Highlander Brew Co. out of South River, Ontario. Little shameless plug for them. Um, yeah, really nice, nice area of the province that I'd never been to before. It was like drive to drive from here to Huntsville, and then in Huntsville, take the turn off to Ottawa, and drive that way for a bit, and then take a turn and then just drive into the middle of the bush, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and it was just. It's beautiful. The place the festival was held, I really hope they have another one next year and I'm able to go again next year because it was awesome. Randomly I was there and there were dogs. They allowed dogs in the festival. So I was able to say hi to a whole bunch of beautiful, beautiful, cute, friendly little doggies and almost got my hand bit off by a tiny Sheltie. Like the tiny like border collie. Yeah, one of them tried to eat me. It was the funniest thing in the world. But I could have brought Oreo. And if it happens again next year, it's still dog friendly. I think I might I'll just like have him on a leash while I'm working. He can like say hi to the people and have his food and water there and stuff. And I think it would be really fun. Anyway, Blonde Ale. I've had something by this brewing company before. I'm not sure what it is. I'll look into it momentarily. But for now, let's crack it open. I've already been going for like four minutes now. My God. And see, what we got uh, maybe like two minutes actually. The beginning was recording for a bit before I actually kind of got things going and stuff and things. You, you know how it is if you do any kind of recording stuff. A picture! That's pretty much crystal clear with the addition of some chill haze. Just looked into it and it was with, what was her name? Come on now, I just had it. Say hi to... Nope, that's not right. Right here. Why are you muted? I'll kill you. Say hi to Whitney from Halliburton's Highland Brewing Company, everybody. There we go. Whitney. And then she she wooed. It was awesome. But uh, yeah, it was... um. Where was that? That was a session in Muskoka. I believe I was working with Lake of the Woods that day. It was an awesome, awesome day. And they had their spruce... Kike? What, what did she say it was called? Halliburton's Highland. Quike. Quike. I think I enjoyed it. But yeah, this is surprisingly the second beer ever I've had by them. They were at that Halliburton Beer Festival, but I was working with Highlander, like I said, and I was alone. I really didn't get the chance to get away and do any vlogging. Working with Highlander is enjoyable. I like it a lot. I'm still working at festival. I'm still enjoying myself, having a great time, screaming at people as they walk by with empty cups. But last year with Lake of the Woods, I was never alone, so I was always able to kind of go and do my own thing for a bit here and there. Let's get into this beer, goddammit. I get zero, zero aroma. Like, seriously, I'm getting nothing. Like, the slightest hint of beer in the air. Let's give it a shot. Something a bit, maybe a bit kind of unusual in the flavor profile. Not bad, just different from what I was kind of expecting from a blonde. But we can't judge a beer of one drink. We gotta get into this. So let's do this. A cheers, everybody. It almost comes across to me as if it's in like the 7% ABV range or something. 
it tastes a bit just more of a I guess pronounced flavor of the more of a bite or something I don't know how don't know how to really describe it but compared to other blondes I've had like New Ontario's Bear Runner Blonde and unfortunately that's the only one that comes to mind when I just randomly think of it let's go back on here come on go back faster there you go and blonde Just seeing will like refresh my memory in the long. Um, to kill that, there's like a Forked River was a blonde ale I had. Muskoka had a blonde ale. I've had a lot of like when I search blonde, there's freaking blondes everywhere actually. So, yeah. And I want to say most of them are just kind of like a nice malty. Really smooth, easy drinking beer. This one here has a bit more kind of of a. It's not super old, right? Freaking kill somebody. Uh, May twenty third. That, that's acceptable for a Blondale. May, June, July. It's like two months. I can't recall where the hell I bought this. It wasn't here in town. I want to say Sudbury, but that doesn't make any sense that it would be like a bit like, well, nothing makes sense with the beers I see in Sudbury compared to with the beers I see here. Like, you'd think Sudbury is further away. So the beer wouldn't make it there before making it here. But it still happens all the frickin' time. Like, the beer selection in this town is decent. I can't deny that. It's pretty good. But the rate at which new beers appear on the shelves has some definite room for improvement. There, that was a coherent thought, I think. Every now and then, I pull one out of my ace. That might make sense. We are proud to make choices to minimize our environmental footprint. This product features a paper label to reduce emissions when recycled. The size of this label minimizes the amount of waste generated in the printing process. A full-size label would produce the equivalent of six full labels of waste for every 24 cans labeled. Sustainability is very important to us. Thanks for choosing HHB. Water barley hops yeast. Like, really? This uses that much less labeling than... Well, see, the other ones, I'm pretty sure any ones that are full labeled... That's like full labeled shrink wrapped plastic. I'm pretty sure. So using a paper label, I'm down with that. I have no problem. Like I, I like the shiny of the can. And they have a nice there's no actual wait, there is over here. I missed it. I missed it. Blue Line Blonde is an uncomplicated, refreshing blonde ale with a clean malt profile and just a touch of hops. Blue Line Blonde pairs best with afternoons on the dock, evenings around the fire, or a rousing game of, blo of, of blonde hockey. Nope, that says pond hockey. Life should be as straightforward and un uncomplicated as, there's, as this refreshing brew. And then on the hop scale, it shows it's really not on the hop scale. So, yeah, like big gap here on it nothing like but they still get everything you want date ingredients something randomly about the label and something about the beer like many congratulations to you hhb i like that cool abbreviation you down with the hhb huh i am I have actually two more beers by the HHB in the fridge. A honey brown and another beer that I cannot recall off the top of my head. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. Although, like, that would be, there'd be a lot of waiting if you just stay tuned, kind of, you know, but keep tuning in daily, hopefully around the midnight mark. I try to do it at midnight every day. But occasionally, 
I forget. Well, more often than not, actually, I'm all good to go. Sorry, it's like wet there. And I'm like trying to offhandedly wipe my hand on my pants. The uh, YouTube, when I'm going to publish stuff, I'll be... I'll, the last thing I generally do is upload my thumbnail. And then I'll scroll up and hit, like, publish. Generally, schedule publish. And sometimes, that click for whatever reason, isn't registered. And me being the super genius that I am, I don't ever sit around and double check and make sure after that point. It'll be like three in the morning and I'll be like, yeah, let me just double check and see, you know, anybody, anybody's watched it yet or anything. And it's like, oh, it's not even published. Son of a bitch. Because yeah, it's all on me. It's always all on me. Story of my life. And are you serious? 14 and a half minutes have been recorded onto the SD card in the GoPro that I'm currently staring into. So, a break time. Many apologies if the camera angle is a bit different than it was a second ago because I went to hit record and I missed it and the camera almost took a backflip off the counter so I saved it but didn't quite save everything else for that I'm sorry this is not bad yes it's, it's not really a typical blonde ale like it's it's got just a little bit more kind of a I guess I'd almost just say more of a hop presence to it or something going on. Even though it says the hop scale is like nothing. I get something in there that is just different than most other blonde ales I have had in the past. And how did I not do that before? I'm so sorry. Uh, Halliburton Brewing Company. No, Halliburton Highlands Brewing? Yes. Dot CA. There's something in my eye. I'm gonna power through, it's okay. Ratings are here somewhere. 3.4 over on Untapped with 494 ratings overall. Beer Advocate has three ratings with 3.46 out of five, and Rate Beer has nine ratings with three out of five. So, yeah, people are kind of like, for me, it's, it's not, bad it's just different and kind of unusual for a blonde ale i guess i'd say i drink never last like overall i kind of enjoy them we'll go with that i guess kind of thing halliburton highlands brewing your Blue Line? Yeah, Blue Line Blondale. That's what it's called. Rating. It's somewhere in the 7 range. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's, it's, it's a Blondale. You know, it's just a little weird. According to my tongue. Have you had this beer? And did you find it to be a regular Blondale? Or a bit of a different Blondale? Or anything else by this brewing company? I should have looked in the fridge and checked as to what the other one was, aside from the honey brown I have. After the uh, end credit kind of thing, that, that that's what will happen there. Yeah. And comment down below with your opinion on what I said yeah, a few seconds ago. Yeah. That's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then smash Mr. Thumbs Up button in his stupid little face. You want to see more? Then subscribe, and then hit the bell thingy, ding a ding a ding a, so you know when the new videos are released. And I will be back with another daily vlog, daily drink vlog. That was terrible. Uh, tomorrow, uh, peace out. The other beer by this company is a summer wheat ale. So, we super excited for the wheat beer. No. Yeah.